What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I have a mini electric air pump and it comes from a website called Cool Gadget. They sent it to me to review. Basically it's a battery powered air pump that is portable. So there's this website here that is called Cool Gadget and it's a pretty neat website. What kind of makes them stand out is that they actually test out each of their items before they sell them. So every product that they have is basically handpicked and tested in their lab to ensure that it is a quality product. So there are two different ways that you can buy this and I will leave a link down in the description below if you're interested. But there is the $45.19 for that is the sports version, so that is just the air pump itself. And then if you get the pro version, it comes with the extension, so they have green and blue. And that one is $56. So really, you're adding $11 to the price to get this extension, and that gives you extra battery life and a really bright flashlight and a USB charging port so that you can charge a mobile device like a phone. These are going to be like your main uses for this air pump. It is not really made to blow up car tires, so if that's what you're thinking you want to use this for, I would recommend not getting it and finding something bigger and heavier duty because this one is designed for bike tires, uh, motorcycle tires, and inflatable balls. So first of all, just kind of want to go over what comes inside the package. Obviously you have the air pump, the extension, inside the box here. Each of these devices has like this little mesh sleeve that you can put it in. Like so. Fits very well. And that'll just help keep it from getting scratched up if you're going to throw it in your backpack. You also have a user manual. It's kind of hard to figure out without reading, but once you have it figured out, it's very simple to operate. Inside here, you have a USB Type-C charging cord. It's just a short little dinky cord. You have a needle attachment for inflating balls like a basketball, soccer ball, volleyball, all those type of things. And then you also have this attachment. I forget what they're called, but there's a two different, there's two like main types of valve stems and this is the adapter for that and then the included one in the pump is the most common one that you find in like your motorcycle tires. Alright so let's see if this thing is actually a cool gadget and worth your money. On the bottom there is your charging port and then these two prongs and that's where this extension attaches so it's almost like putting a camera lens on but you pop it straight in let's see there's these these little white dots to help you line it up so just go like that and then boom you can see that it is reading there's a little green LED light and that tells you that it's connected you can use it separately as well to turn it on you press and hold the button and you see the little green LED indicator and then press the button once to turn on the light and there's three brightness modes let's see you probably be able to see it and this is actually very bright like that's the brightest mode and then it has a SOS mode as well you also have a power bank so the USB type C on top there is for charging it but then you have a USB port to um, plug in a phone or whatever you need to charge you'll be able to charge it off of this now as far as the main pump when I first pulled it out of the box and tried using it I was a little confused about what all the controls were but it's actually pretty simple once you figure out how to use it I do want to mention this is not water or dust resistant um, you can see the port is exposed I would say maybe this one is because it's got that rubber flap but still it's it's got exposed components so you definitely want to keep these out of water and probably minimal dust and dirt. 
if you just get the sport version, the cheaper option with just this unit, you still have an LED light that you can use. And to turn the device on, you have two options. You can press and hold this button here in the middle. There's the play and pause button. Or you can eject the hose, which you can see this right here. What's cool about this is it stores the hose and you click it and it'll pop out and automatically turn the device on and then you can see you can turn the light on by pressing this button here in the top left corner so if you're inflating something at night you have at least a little bit of light this one's not as bright but you have some light to see what you're doing when your hose is connected to the tire or whatever you're inflating it will read the PSI and you can see in the corner here it says PSI so that's what measurement we have you can change it to different measurements but I use PSI it'll tell you live real time what your PSI is and then this bottom is the um, the pressure that you want to get it to so you can adjust that by pressing the up and down buttons you can press and hold to adjust it faster and say I wanted my PSI at 19 all I do is plug this into the tire and then press play and I can just leave it and it will stop when it gets to that PSI and then you have three different modes this one's like the motorcycle bike mode and then there's a ball mode and then there is a custom mode so you can just choose whatever PSI. This baby will go all the way up to 150 PSI. I don't have anything to test that on. That seems like a lot for such a small pump like this. That would have to be some like a semi truck tire basically to go that with that much pressure. Um, so that doesn't really make sense for such a small pump. But realistically, you'll probably be using this for a motorcycle or a mountain bike or just a regular bicycle. It's just, it's more of like a convenient way to inflate things so you don't have to use a manual pump or a pump that plugs into an outlet or like a full on air compressor. What I have been using this for is filling up my dirt bike tires. It works really well, it's convenient just to screw in real quick and top off the air before I go riding. And one thing I did notice is that the PSI pressure reading is about one PSI off from what my other pressure gauge reads. And I don't, there's like different variables where that could be coming into play. It could be that this sensor is just slightly off but you do have a way to actually recalibrate it and you'll re be able to read that in the instructions but there is a way to recalibrate the sensor in case like the elevation that you're at or something is affecting it and that could be the case but I did try recalibrating it and it still seems to be off by one PSI it is um, low so like if this were to if I were to fill my bike up to 14 PSI and then use my other pressure gauge to check it it would be 13 psi so to compensate for that all i have to do is set it one psi higher than i want it and it works just fine and yeah like i said there could be other variables maybe my other um, pressure gauge is off as well maybe that is the one that's off and this is accurate i'm not sure but I did want to mention that I did get a 1 PSI difference between the two. Once you have your hose connected to your tire that you're inflating, all you have to do is select your desired PSI and press the play button and it will start pumping. It is kind of startling at first, it's not like an air compressor loud, but it does make a pretty decently loud noise and vibrate vigorously. You also have a battery indicator on the screen here. So I'm at three bars out of four bars. I had it fully charged and just used the one bar for when I was testing it. So it's got a pretty decent battery life. 
Um, if you're going to be using it like very consistently, you might want to get the battery extension. And it also just depends on how much you're going to be pumping. If you're pumping a tire from completely flat to full, it's going to use up more battery versus if you're just putting an extra couple PSI in a dirt bike tire like mine. The build quality is decent. Um, I probably wouldn't trust it like bouncing around in something like my dirt bike has. I have some saddle bags on my dirt bike and I probably wouldn't want to leave these in there because they just bounce around a ton and nothing on this build is rubber. It's kind of all just hard plastic so it doesn't seem like it would take impacts very well but I could also just wrap it in a towel or something if I wanted to bring it with me or just bring it in my backpack. And then another thing that's nice too is when you take the hose back off and you're done using the pump you push the hose back in and it turns off automatically. I blew up a basketball with this as well. The speed of inflation with this air pump is not going to be as good as a bigger air compressor that you'd have at home but it's definitely um, more of the convenience factor and the portability with this this is something that I would take with me if I'm going on a full day or multiple day dirt bike ride um, that would be applicable for mountain bike rides as well it's a convenient device to have you can see in the video I blew up a basketball with it and it really didn't take that much time to get it nice and tight and then when I blew up my dirt bike tire I let most of the air out of it already so it was practically flat when I started and it did take a few minutes to uh, get it to the PSI that I wanted so it kind of just depends on how much air you're pumping and how high of a PSI, how much pressure that you're getting into. Um, but really, what this is made for, I think it does well. So there's different applications for this, but overall, it's a really useful tool, and it's not going to break your budget. That's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. If there's anything I missed, leave a comment down below, and I'll try and get back to you. I hope this video was helpful to you, and hope that... If you guys are interested, you would use the link down in the description below. Check out their website. Um, I'm not getting paid by them, but I genuinely think that their website is pretty cool and just what they do. I don't want to use the word cool too much, but I always like cool gadgets like this. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.